Hello, and welcome to Tuesdays with Erica on the Ability 411. This week, our topic is depression. Um, I know that depression affects millions around the nation and, and around the world, um, but I think that it, it's definitely a, um, a big thing for somebody who has lived a life with a disability, is now injured because of a disability, um, spinal cord injury, what have you. I know for me personally, this is a big, big topic. I have struggled with depression since before I was injured, but even more so after I was injured, especially initially after my accident. I actually went through a period after my accident where I guess it was the poor me mentality. I can't believe this happened to me. What did I do to deserve this? For most of you that have been following the Ability 411 or that has followed me in the past through the other stuff that I'm involved with, you know that I was um, injured under different circumstances. I was injured at the hands of somebody else, um, at the hands of somebody else's bad choices. And so that was a really tough pill for me to swallow. And again, the biggest thing for me was, well, why am I still here? Why am I alive? What can I do with my life now? Um, what did I do to deserve this? And that's something that I've battled with quite a bit. I still, I'm not going to lie, I, I still have some days where it is hard to get out of bed. And, and I know if I didn't have my children, it would be even harder. But because of them, I'm able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I think that for somebody, especially with any kind of traumatic injury, you know, spinal cord injury, um, anything in that matter, I think that having a very strong support system is so, so important. I can definitely say I don't, I don't know what I would have did without my family and, and my close friends, especially initially after the accident. I, I looked at it as I was mourning the life that I had lived for 21 years, and that was walking. That was running with my friends, you know, playing sports. Um, dancing, you name it, and, and that was what I missed, feeling the grass between my toes, the sand underneath my feet, things that you don't normally think about and I guess take for granted. Um, but once it's taken from you, it, it's, that's, a, that's a hard thing to deal with. I went through all of the stages of grief. I went through the anger. I went through the depression. I went through... All the bad things you would think that somebody goes through when they're mourning. And like I said, I was mourning the life that I had lived for 21 years. One of the biggest things that helps me the most and, and has helped me even from the onset of my injury has been talking about it and sharing my story. Um, because I saw very early on that sharing my story with other people impacted them in a positive way when they're like, well, wait a minute, here I'm crying about having, you know, not being able to pay my bills or, you know, not having the car that I want or the house that I want to live in. And, and here's this girl that just lost everything. And I had indeed lost everything except for the people that love me and my life. And now I'm able to look back 10 years post injury and, and see that everything does indeed happen for a reason. And I, I know every day when I wake up that I have another opportunity to touch somebody else's life just by simply sharing my story. I also know that even if I only touch one person's life, everything horrible that I went through in my recovery and, and throughout the accident was so worthwhile because of the fact that I, I've helped somebody else. I was able to turn something that was so negative into something so positive. In so many ways and that's reason enough for anybody to get out of bed every day and definitely reason enough for me to smile and to know that the Sun is still shining so that's my advice on dealing with you know depression is just to always remember that somebody always has it way worse just be thankful for life thankful for the people that you love and the people that love you Thankful for the good things that you're surrounded by each and every day. Even if it's something as simple as a comfortable, warm house to sleep in. 
you have something to be thankful for. And, and I think that that it, it's not a bad thing for somebody to have to be on prescription medication for depression. I will admit very openly that I have to take antidepressants every day. And for a long time, that was really hard for me to, to deal with. And I, I was, in a way, I was embarrassed by it. You know, right, I've got to take this medicine just to be, you know, normal and not crazy. Um, but I never was crazy. And this has become the normal for me, and that's okay. Again, there, there's absolutely nothing wrong with, you know, having to have a little bit of help. And if medication is what your doctor sees fit, then that's what you need to do. And um, depression is a deep, dark hole. And once you're in it, it's so hard to climb back out of without the proper support, without the proper, um, you know, medication. If 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 that is what what you need, um, talk about your feelings. Talk about what's bothering you. Um, anything's possible, and life is good. No matter what things where we encounter in life, when negative things happen to us, life is wonderful, and we all have so much to be thankful for. So yeah, that's my take on depression. Um, please email us any questions, concerns, comments. The the topic is a big topic. We've actually been asked already by a couple people, a couple viewers, uh, that wanted us to talk about dis depression. So we're like, hey, why not? Let's let's give it a whirl. So again, if, if there's any questions, comments, concerns, anything that you'd like to ask me or any of the other bloggers, email at us. Email us at ability411 at gmail.com. Until next Tuesday, keep rolling.